All right, guys, welcome to part three of the pay page application with PHP, MySQL, and the Stripe API. So up to this point, we're able to make a payment and it goes through our Stripe dashboard. It also gets saved in our database. We have a customer's table and a transactions table. Now what I want to do is create two pages, one for viewing the customers, one for viewing the transactions. So in my in the root of our application here, I'm going to create a new file called customers.php. And from here, let's copy what we have in the success.php. Not that we don't actually need the PHP code, but just the HTML. We need bootstrap and all that. So I'm just going to grab that and put that in here. Let's change the title to view customers and let's see we're going to have we're going to have a table let's get rid of everything in the container and then I'll put let's see let's put an h2 and we'll say customers and then we're going to have a table And I'm actually going to give this it's this table a class or a couple classes, one of table, one of table dash striped, which are bootstrap classes. There's only one P in striped. And let's do a heading. So a T head area with a table row and then some table headings. Okay, so we're going to have the customer ID. We're going to have the name the email and let's do the date and then we'll have the T body under the T head and then we're going to have to loop through our customers here so I'm going to stop with the HTML and then we're going to go up top and we need to do a couple things with PHP so we're going to bring in See, we're going to first of all bring in our uh, database config, which has the parameters. So config slash db dot php. Then we want to bring in our library, database library, which is lib slash pdo underscore db. And then we also want to bring in our uh, customer model. So that's in models slash customer. All right, so let's go ahead and instantiate a customer by creating a variable called customer and setting it to new customer. And then we want to get a customer. Now we haven't created this method yet, but we will, and it's really easy. So we're gonna say customer is equals uh, customer and then we're going to have a method called get customers like that so let's go into our model now customer model and let's go under the add customer which ends right here and let's say public function get customers all right and then for this this is going to be pretty easy this library, I really like this PDO library. I've been using it for years. I think it's it's simple, but it, it does everything you need it to. Um, so we're going to say this DB. So we're going to use that library, that class, and we're going to call query. And inside here, let's say select all from customers. And we want to order them by the created at okay and we want to order we want it to be descending so that's our statement and then all we have to do is say results equals and remember in our in our library here in our database library we have this result set this is what we use when we're returning more than one result okay if we were fetching a single object or a single record we would use single 
but all we have to do is say results equals uh, this db result set. Actually, I think it's all lowercase. This db result set, and then we just return that. And that should give it to us. So if I go to customers PHP and just to test it out, let's do a print R, which prints out an array and we'll pass in customers and let's see what we get. So if we go to our application slash customers dot PHP and there we go, it's printing out Tom, which is the only customer we have in our database. So now we want to get Tom down here into the table. So all we have to do is go down to our body the body of our table and let's do a for each so I'm gonna use a shorthand by saying for each colon like that and then we can say PHP end for each like that okay and then what we want to loop through we want to say for customers as C or whatever I'm just using C and then we can put our table rows. So for each customer, a table row is going to be created. And then for the columns, let's do the ID. So we'll say PHP echo C ID. All right. And then we'll just copy this down. Let's see. We need four altogether. And then we have the name. So we're going to do the first name. And then. Uh, let's copy this and then we'll do the last name so it'll be first name space last name then we want the email and then we want the created at alright so let's save that let's go back and let me see, let me just get rid of this print R and save. And there we go. So now we have our customers. And I'm just going to put a link under the table that goes back to the pay page if we want. So I'll just put a line break and let's put an A tag going to index.php. All right. And one other thing I want to do is just have a button group at the top so we can switch to the transactions page if we want, which we haven't actually created yet, but we'll go ahead and create that that button group. So right under the container div, let's do a div with the class of BTN group. And we're going to say role equals group. And inside here, we're going to use links. So we're going to have an A tag with the class of BTN. And let's do BTN primary since we're on the customers page. And this will go to customers.php. Uh, customers. All right. And then we'll copy that down. This one will go to transactions dot PHP we're going to change the class from primary to secondary like that and let's see what that looks like let's put an HR underneath the button group div and there we go now transactions isn't going to work because we haven't created it yet so let's do that so I'm going to copy everything in the customers.php that's in the root, create a new file called transactions.php and paste that in. And this time we want to bring in our transactions model. We want to instantiate a transaction customer. Uh, let's see, let's do change all these so that'll be transaction that should be lowercase t all right so transaction equals new transaction 
and then transactions equals transaction get transactions, which we have to create. And then down here, let's change the title to oops, transactions. And for the button group here, all I'm going to do is change the classes. I want transactions to be primary so that we know which one we're on. And this will be secondary. All right, we'll change this. And then as far as the fields, we have a couple more than we do for customers. So we will have a transaction ID. Uh, we're going to have a customer. That'll be the customer ID. We're going to have the product. We're going to have we will have a date. So what I'll do is just bring in the amount like that. All right. And then we're going to loop through our transactions. And we'll say as T. OK, so this first one will be the transaction ID. So T ID. Second one's going to be the customer ID. So it's going to be T. Customer ID. We don't need this. Oops. And then let's see, we're going to have the amount, right? Is that the next one? No, the product. Okay, but that should be T, not C. Then we have the amount. So T amount. And then we have the, the date, right? Yeah. All right. Now, if we save that and go to transactions, which we have a link here, it's not going to work because we haven't created um, yeah, let's see. Did I bring that? This should be transaction. The models are singular, but it's still not going to work because we don't have the get transactions method. So what I'm going to do is go to the customer model and copy the get customers method, and then paste that into the trans uh, transaction model right here. Okay, but we're going to change it. to get transactions. OK, and then all we want to do is change the table name. Order by created that everything else can be the same. That's good. Let's save. Let's reload. And there we go. So there's our transaction. Now for the amount that it looks like 5000. So what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of PHP and go. Um, let's see, we want to go to transactions PHP. And where we have the T amount right here. We can actually change this to, to we can get a decimal point in here by using the S print F method, which is a replacement method. And we want to pass in here. Um, we want to pass in a percent dot two F for a first parameter and then pass in as a second parameter the amount, which is T amount. And we want to divide that by 100. So if I save that and reload, now we have 50. We have the, the dot, the decimal places. And let's just put the currency in here as well. So after that, we'll put a space and then we'll do um, uh, actually, I actually want to go after the PHP tag and then open another one and say echo T currency. So 50 USD, let's make that all caps. So we'll just wrap the cut T currency in str to upper, which just makes it all uppercase. Oops, what do I do? And there we go. So customers and transactions. So once and for all, let's test. Let's delete. I'm going to delete everything from our database and from Stripe so that we can just do one final test. All right.
right and then we'll go to stripe we'll go to our uh, business settings data delete all test data okay so we have nothing in stripe we have nothing in our database tables so let's go to our pay page and let's do uh, John Doe submit all right let's do one more we'll say Maggie Smith All right, so two people have bought in the React course. Now let's go to transactions.php, and there's our two transactions. And you can see the customer ID is different. If we go to customers, we have our two client, our two customers. Okay, and if we go to our dash, Stripe dashboard and reload, we should have two payments. Okay, there's our two payments, and we should have two customers, Maggie and John. So there you have it. We have a pay page. We can check out our customers and transactions. And like I said, I, I might um, continue on with the authentication because obviously you don't want these pages open to the public. You'd want to have some kind of login system. Uh, if you watched my Udemy PHP course, we implement a login with this PDO class and you could easily add that. And even if, if you wanted to do that and make a pull request to the, the Git repository, feel free to do so. I'll check it out and approve it um, if it looks good. And uh, yeah, I might do a video on, on authentication. But that's going to be it for now, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this series. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for PHP videos. Even though the majority of my audience are more towards JavaScript, there are a lot of um, PHP developers. So I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, so as I mentioned a few times in the series, I do have a Udemy course called Object Oriented PHP and MVC, where we actually build a complete model view controller framework from scratch, and then we build an application with that framework. So this course uses a lot of the same concepts. Like I said, it uses the exact same PDO class. Um, it has authentication and login. So if you like what you just watched in this series and you want to you know take your knowledge further then check out this course I'll put a $10 link in the description below